So you may have some code in your application that looks like this. You have an object, it's a person, and for whatever reason it comes back from an API is null or it doesn't. And then inside of your code you're using the double bang operator uh, to force the person object to not be null. So of course this wouldn't work. You could do something like this. This would also work. It's actually much cleaner in my opinion this way than forcing it to be not null uh, because we could you know, run into situations. But if for whatever reason, let's say you do have that or you're using require not null. And require not null will basically turn that, per that nullable person into a regular person. However, there's also check not null. And check not null basically does the exact same thing as require not null. And if we go to the implementation here, we'll actually see that check not null, which is down here at the bottom, is basically the exact same as require not null. So let's go ahead and shrink this down. Let's see if we can get it all into the same screen. Very close. So require not null is up here. And then we have check not null, which is down here. And we can see it as a contract for require not null, checks the value, we get the lazy message. And if we look down here, the code is exactly the same. So it's doing the same exact thing. It's basically checking to see if it's not null and requiring it if it's not null. And if it does, if it's there, it returns the value. Otherwise, it doesn't. So you can use either one of these, check not null or require not null, depends on what you like to do. I have seen in multiple code bases where a check not null will be somewhere randomly in the, in the code base, perhaps after, an API call, just make sure that the user is not null, and then at that point in time, the person might be, it might be a var, if that's the case. And so if that's the case, it might be var person equals check not null or person two. At that point in time, check not null, so you then have a nullable version. So you can either use require not null or check not null.